Having the right level of visibility over your resources and the actions that are occurring to them is exactly why we implement detective controls. In this lesson, we're gonna take a look at how to use the notification service and CloudWatch events to tell us when a root login has occurred in one of our AWS accounts. As a part of this demonstration, we'll go through and set up a notification service topic, and then we'll also go through and configure the CloudWatch event rule that targets the root login activity and relays those events to the notification service, ultimately delivering them to my inbox. To get started, I'm over here in the notification service dashboard. I'm just gonna go ahead and create myself a new topic. The topic is going to contain my email address as a subscriber so that as these events come out of CloudWatch, they can be sent to my email so that I'll know that there's been something that's occurred. So I'll go ahead and say create topic and for the name, I'm gonna call this my root login notification topic and I can give it a friendly name here, root login. And as you scroll on down, you can see there's quite a few additional options for encryption, uh, the security policy, the delivery retries and the logging options. For now, I'm gonna leave them at their default and go ahead and say create topic. Now you wanna recognize that when you create a notification service topic, by default, AWS is only gonna grant privileges to write uh, and administer that topic to the owner of the topic itself. So that's just for my user in this account. In order to allow CloudWatch events to write to this particular topic, we need to adjust this policy and allow that service. So from right here on the main screen, I'm gonna go back in and hit edit and then go down to the access policy and you can see the policy that it has applied. It has all of the different notification service actions in it. And then down at the bottom, here's the resource statement that limits it just to the account owner. So to fix this, I'm gonna grab the ARN out of here real quick. This is the ARN for this notification. And then I am going to make a note of that. And then we're gonna paste in another policy here. And I have to make sure that I update the ARN properly. So this is going to allow the events.amazon.aws service to use the publish command against this particular topic. And that is what we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll on down and save these changes. Before we move on, we have to make sure that the notification service has someone to send these messages to. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a subscriber and get that confirmed. So from here, I'll go ahead and say create subscription. Great, and so there's my subscription confirmation. It looks pretty good. I've got my uh, email address all subscribed and ready to receive notifications. The final thing that we need to do is go into CloudWatch events and have it target the root login activity and send events of that type over to this notification service. Let's check it out. Okay, so I'm over here in my CloudWatch dashboard and I've browsed down underneath of events to rules. We're gonna create what's called an event rule. I'll go ahead and jump in here and say create rule. And the first thing that we have to do is identify where the data source is that's gonna be driving this rule. In my case, I'm interested in login activity. So I'm gonna go down here underneath of service name and do AWS console sign in. This is a umbrella for all of the other sign in activity that you'll see through the AWS console. Uh, the events are only just that one type sign in events. That's the one I'm looking for. And I can have it set for any user or set up specific users. In fact, even farther down here, you have the actual pattern that you can set up. I've actually set the pattern up in advance, so I'm gonna grab that and paste that on in here. I can hit edit, and I'll just go ahead and paste that on in and hit save. So this particular pattern is now configured to look for user identity sign-in activity related to the root account itself. And if we take a look down here, we can see a sample event of what that would look like. And this is what it will look like as we see those activities. And then over on the right, we need to configure the target. This is what we want the event to do once we found it. So I'm gonna go here to add a target and we're gonna do, instead of Lambda function, we wanna choose a notification service topic. And of course, we wanna find that topic that we had built earlier on, the root login notification. That looks pretty good. So whenever we find an event of this type, we will relay it to that particular notification. All right, great, let's go ahead and say configure details here. Um, for the rule definition, I'm gonna call this my root login. Great, we're gonna have it enabled, that looks good. And we'll go ahead and say create rule. Excellent. So now you can see our root login event has been added. So we've got all of our detective pieces in place now. We've got the CloudWatch events looking for the login activity, relaying it to the notification service topic. And then the topic has my email address subscribed to it so that I'll get an email about this particular login event. You know what we have to do now? It's time to test it out. So let's log in and use one of our root users and uh, just see whether or not that email shows up. Cool, so there's my root account. That looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and sign in. I do have multi-factor enabled on here. So let me grab that code real quick. 
and we're in. So within a few moments, I should receive an email about this particular login event. We'll give that a sec. Great, and if I bring this on over here, you can see I did receive my little notification message here. Uh, and this is the one that came from root login notification, the notification service topic. This is the root login event. You can see that root logged in. It has the account information on here. Uh, it says that it was a successful login, so that's interesting. Now, ultimately, what you do with the notification information is entirely up to you. Just keep in mind that using the root account for regular administrative activities is a major no-no. So we really want to make sure that even if this is happening, it should raise a red flag that says, hey, why is my employee or why is one of my team members using the root account, even though they might be allowed to? It always brings up a good point for that discussion about least privileges model. And depending on the nature of what you've discovered, you may want to go out there and rotate the credentials or maybe adjust some of the access models around how your root account is made available to the rest of your team. Just to kind of recap, we went through and used the notification service to create a topic. And then we put my email address in there as a subscriber to the topic. This set up the relay email notification part of it. And then we went into CloudWatch events and configured an event rule to look for that console sign-in activity. And we targeted the pattern even farther to look for the root user. Once we had that all in place, it was just a matter of going through and doing a little root login attempt, and I was able to get those notification messages as desired. Now, you want to keep in mind that in this particular lesson, I was limited to just getting notifications about the one account where I configured this. So if I have multiple AWS accounts, I'm going to have to repeat this process across all of those accounts to get notifications for every one of those root users. That is a lot of configurational burden. So in future lessons, we'll be taking a look at how to configure CloudTrail to aggregate all your login activities so that you can get full, complete organizational visibility over all of your login activity. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you reviewing.